What is up, everybody? Angry Roco Gaming here. We are back with another episode of the Real Zaragoza Career Mode. I would like to apologize to everybody who, as I said, I was going to get you guys more episodes. Uh, now, you recently, well, college, I haven't been uploading episodes. I have a little bit of a, other, other problems going on, too, but I want to get you guys back into the episodes. We want to get the episodes back in track as well. So... Um, I'm going to see if I could get some more episodes during this weekend. Eat or dar. If this is uploaded on Friday, we're going to see if we can get one tomorrow on Saturday. Now, today we're facing Real um, Sociedad B, but the, the thing is, I do want to quick sim this game because we. I don't, I don't think we. I don't think we'll lose to Real. Yeah, Real Sociedad B. So we're going to go ahead and get into um, a transfer, maybe. So let's go ahead and uh, get into. Our first potential only transfer, probably. And we also got our monthly scout report. As you guys can see, we have Tony Baker, who doesn't look good, but we're going to go ahead and put him in here. We're just going to put a lot of the 94 potential players. Remember, we're trying to rebuild the whales at the same time. It's not going to be like the Ecuador career mode where we're only bringing in Ecuador players. We're really trying to just rebuild Real Zaragoza because this career mode ends when that happens. But maybe we'll go more seasons with the World Cup, actually, or maybe we will have, like, a career mode at going after that, like, where we, like, just focus on the World Cup or something like that. So, this is how the squad's looking like, and I do want to uh, talk about a transfer we want, I want to make. It is Tommy Doyle, which is the only center defending mid. I I, I asked for the also center defending mid. This is the only one I got. I'm going to go ahead and take this one as a signing, even though it's not a realistic signing. I feel like it'll be kind of realistic because, you know, we have once in a while, there's some English players that go out there in Europe. He's playing in Germany. I'm going to go ahead and bring him from Germany to Spain. Uh, let's, uh, I think that'll be kind of a good, uh, we, I don't know. Well, it, it's going to be good because I'm going to make him a center defending mid. I mean, we have Morientes, but the thing is with Morientes, he is 55 overall. And with that, I cannot really do much, which I loan listed him. He hasn't got any loan listed uh, loan offers yet, but I'm hoping we can get some soon. We have Levante up next as well. So we're going to go ahead and simulate Levante because I don't think we're going to really face Levante either ways. I don't want to face them either ways, actually, yeah. Uh, we ended up losing 2-0, and that does get us out of the Copa de España. So let's go ahead and keep on simulating throughout the season. As we went ahead and completed the signing of Tommy Doyle, we went ahead and signed him uh, for 2, point, two mil. That's the only way we could sign him. I think this is kind of a really good transfer. He is a 64, a little bit too low rated from our book. But I do want to make him a center defending mid. And if we make him into that center defending mid position... Uh, he might go get a boost, but I doubt it. I really doubt if he does get that boost, that'll really work. Well, I also did get a loan offer for, uh, what's his name? He, Javi Hernandez. I'm going to go ahead and accept it, but we're going to see if it goes through. If it goes through, I'll inform y'all. But Tommy Doyle, welcome to the team. He's here. Uh, I don't. I do want to put him maybe in the starting lineup. I mean, the, not starting lineup, in the, you guys know what I'm talking about right here. I do want to start Lopez now at this point because Lopez is kind of better than Amador. Maybe we might have to sell. I'm going to sell Amador next season, though. I think his time at the club is over, though, because he is getting old. I don't want to really work with him, and he doesn't really seem really promising at this point. I mean, he has been doing good, but I do want to see how the rest of the squad goes. Either ways, I think in this episode, we're going to have a lot of simulating to go through either ways because... uh. We're basically done. We basically won the league. We are way far from winning the league. Uh, in this episode, will there be any gameplay? There probably will be one game only. But I think the rest of this episode, we might go ahead and simulate. If not, then I might play Leganes, depending on what place they are. They're in second, so I'll play that game for sure. But anyways, we're going to get into the next game. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the next game. As we also do get our next Young Academy players, they don't look as well either ways. And I think that does end our trip uh, for our Young Academy. I'm not 100% sure if it does. No, it doesn't. We have more into that. I do want to fire that scout later on a little bit later uh, because like, we're going to probably have more money by next season. At least by 20, I think by at least 20 mil, 
I don't really know. I'm not really sure. But we do have Malaga up next, which we want to go ahead and play. We're going to quick send this game against Malaga, and we end up with the result of a 1 1 draw. Let's go ahead and get to the next game against Lingana. And here we go, guys. We have the first game of today's episode. We are going to be facing C. D. Lingana's. Uh, we are not going to make any substitutions or anything like that. I do want to start Tommy Doyle later on, but we're going to go ahead and make him a substitute. Uh, either ways, we're going to go ahead and play this game against Lingana's. Uh, let me see if the jerseys are... Do they, yeah, the jerseys are fine. What the heck? Am I, am I um, goddamn blind or something like that? Either ways, we're going to get into this game. It is Linganes. We have zero goals. Let's get to it. And here we go. It is time for a game. CD Linganes. I think the commentator is actually talking over me, guys. Yes. The commentator is back by accident just for this game, guys. Just bear with me. Uh, and we have it's going to be painful to listen to me and then with the right commentator talking over me. I, I didn't mean to and do that. I didn't mean that for, to be planned. If that uh, next episode probably won't be planned like that. So trust me so on that one right the there. Either the way, as zone is right here. Looks like he's trying to go for his goal. No. I really want to get the get rid of the commentators. Uh... Even though this is like a return episode from like a no, because like I get like I get you like an episode a week, and uh, oh, oh 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 oh, I zone in the mood to uh well, 10 wins from 12 to shows do how it, good they are you know, the that's the thing. Well so I zone over here, looking like he's trying to get us a goal, I zone, and he does. 14th minute, I zone gets us the goal against Lenganes. Oh, goal. A magnificent, magnificent goal. Love to well, see those type of goals. It's an outstanding. Bit of play. outstanding. One nil. Goal. Anyway, 17 goals in 13, 23 matches. Let's get it. I've gone. No way. Hey, I'll take it. Two goals. Two goals in like two minutes, and like three minutes later, Azon gets us the goal. In literally three minutes into the game, Azon is literally just gotten us two goals against Langanes. I mean, the thing is, we already won, I feel like we already won the league. I mean, beating Langanes will get us a plus three boost against them. If uh, we get another goal by the first half, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and take the simulation way and uh... We're getting into halftime guys. CD Linganes is um, Not really doing well either way. So we're gonna go ahead and put not not Aves in here and get to bring in Nico Gonzalez this is his name? I don't remember everyone's name at this at this point. Was it Francisco? I don't remember. And I want to bring in Tommy Doyle. Let's go ahead and do that. I think that'd be worth it. Now, actually, we're gonna keep Vada in here and uh, and bring in Nieto because Nieto is kind of like mad over here. We're not playing him, so we're do gonna go ahead and do that. Continue on with the game and let's get continue on Plenty with the, this game. Based on what we've seen so far, as the second half begins. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, a really single minded And space to exploit, maybe. Is this the moment? And a goal! What a goal. What a goal. What a goal. What a goal. I'm sorry, I was so quiet right there. Focus, Nico Gonzalez. Nico Gonzalez with the third goal of the matchup against Linganes. And that get us the win for sure. I mean, oh, it secures in the bag. What a cross. Look at this cross right there. One of that pass. I mean, I wasn't trying to pass it to him. He's trying to pass it to number 11. I believe that's Vada. And Nico Gonzalez does get us a goal against uh, Linganes. And I'm going to go ahead and safe to say we won this game. Jump to result. We end up with the 3-0 win. That's what I like. Let's go ahead and continue on with some simulation, guys. Now, we're always one game behind for for some reason. We have Las Palmas up next. We're going to quick submit, and we end up with the result of a 1-1 draw. Let's go ahead and continue on the simulating. And up next, Real Sporting. Quick sim this. We end up with the result of a... 
three three draw we're drawing more i don't know why let's go ahead and continue on simulating and we have the next ones uh the next team of academy for whales over here uh, i'm gonna reject and sign the ones with 90 potential do want to check that out we have a monthly scale report for spain as well and i believe quest is the only one i like here then we're gonna reject everyone else and i believe that is our trip for yump academy players as well uh you guys can see this is how the squad's looking like really for the yump academy there's some players i've released some players i have promoted well actually i haven't really promoted anybody uh at the moment see i am trying to put some players into like different positions but you know like they do take a while like the ibanez guy it's i put him at the center mid it's taking him a while uh this marco got marcano guy is looking good over here and yeah the other the next guy i think that really has hope that i have hope in is probably this guy right here uh leaf tony leaf i feel like he has the potential to be something good for some reason i don't know tony leaf could be good we put him at the left wing uh he was a left mid but Anyways, we have uh, Almaria up next as well. We're going to go ahead and quick sim this one. And we end up with the result of a 2-1 win. We're finally getting wins. Let's go to the next game. And a new scout has also opened, guys. I forgot to mention that as well. We're going to send another one to Wales because, like, like I said, we are rebuilding Wales. This is the only club I, I'm the only country I'm really rebuilding. Now, we could go ahead and look for a goalkeeper, and I think we should do that soon, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to look into Sofifa right now. Uh, goalkeeper, uh, say, Sofifa, right? And I'm going to look for a goalkeeper from Wales. Uh, I can't even, I can't even search it up. Okay, Wales, right here. I, I am searching it up right now. We're doing a little FIFA, Sofifa search during this and um i gotta put the position at the goalkeeper spot because we want to look for like a good goalkeeper and uh and i'm looking into this there is no like potential goalkeeper from wales so we might as well send one to wales and see let's hope that we get a new a better scout from wales because we i mean a better it's at the six okay i gotta remember that at the end of six we want to go ahead and do that so we have this game up next and i'm gonna go ahead and simulate it might as well go ahead and simulate that since we're already here we have a couple of international games to get through as well but we're not going to be playing those because like i said we don't play those type of games only if we really need to uh if it's like a cup game or like the euros that's where we go ahead and play it it's 2-1 win though we we ended up beating fun i cannot pronounce that team's name let's get to the next team and now they're asking me to uh bring in some scouts now i also would like to um recognize david brooks um sorry about hear this uh if you guys haven't heard about the news of david brooks uh you guys should really look into it i'm not gonna really try to you know talk about it but best endeavors hope he gets well soon that is uh only thing i want to really mention into uh this next game uh really i i don't know but i just hope he gets well get well soon dude i really do hope he gets well um either ways we do have this next game now the thing is i'm simulating a lot of games throughout the season and i understand now in this episode i feel like we're going to go ahead and finish through uh mostly we're literally gonna finish you know the probably the season because the next episode i want to have ibar to face and Riazo should i be we're gonna go ahead and do that we get our little celebration going on yeah we have Kartenga up next. We're going to quick submit. We end up with the result of a 1-1 one, one draw. Okay, let's get to the next game. Up next, it is Amorbita. Amorbita. Yeah, Bieta. I don't know. We're going to quick submit. We end up with the result of a... Ba bam 2-1 win. Let's get it. Let's get to the next game. All right, guys. So we have the next game, and it does look like a Yump Academy player, and it's Nacho Marcano. And Nacho Marcano, you guys know he has good potential. We're promoting him, and he's going to be good. Hold up. We're going to look into Nacho uh, <laughs> Marcano. Uh, he could literally possibly, like, if we send him on, like, a year of a loan, he probably would actually improve, probably be a high 70 by the end of that year. And I do want to go ahead and do that. We're going to send Nacho into a loan. I don't plan on starting him anytime soon. 
Uh, he does. He's going to be our left back. I, I do have faith in this guy, though. This guy does look promising, really promising. We're going to send him on a loan, though. He might play a couple games here and there, but I don't see it happening. Uh, Nacho Marcano, he's literally going to be... Oh, yeah, he's going to be something. But this is how um, Yump Academy is looking like. And it looks like Ibanez is literally going down. It's because I'm making him into a center mid, and I think that's probably the reason why, which I'm going to stop doing that. I know somebody told me to do that. Uh, I'm going to keep it like this. Maybe we'll do it later on into the future. I want him to grow at least. He's not growing because of that. Uh, just for now, and then we'll probably go ahead and do it later on into the future. Right now, we are. I'm trying to get like these other players into like you see this 44 overall. Maybe we can get him to like a high 60 uh, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but if the potential is at least find 80, if it's lower by an 80, I'm going to go ahead and sell that player. I don't know. Quick swimming this game against, um, I don't know, uh, Trenefi. And we end up with the win. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and get to the next game. We're looking into some scouts right now. We have Connor Edwards. who doesn't look good. Alex Gravel. Alex Pug. Okay. This guy, like, look at the value. 1.8 mil. Okay. We're going to look into the Alex Pugh guy. Uh, and we also got a loan offer for Marcano as well. And from Dijon, that means he's going to, I mean, that's good. That's good. Okay. I think that's good. We're going to go ahead and send him to that loan though. I do want him to go to that loan on the, to Dijon. I hope he accepts that loan, but I do want to check out the player we just signed for a goalkeeper. It is, uh, where is he? Oh, Pug. He's a 61 overall. Okay, he's from Wales, and this guy does look, he looks really promising. Okay, he does really look promising. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to see if we can go ahead and get him up, Alex Bug. He might be our starting goalkeeper later on into the future, but, yo, this is actually a big W of a goalkeeper when signing. I don't know about y'all, but Alex Pug is probably a W of a signing, or for a, a loan signing, you know. Not a loan signing, of a, a Yump Academy uh, signing. I don't know. Either ways, we have, a, oh yeah, we also have Spain. Spain doesn't look like they have really good players at the moment because usually when we go to Spain, it's not looking good. Oh my God, this guy got that dress too. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I think it is time to actually fire this scout right here. I don't think uh, we're going to need him because he's not really bringing us new players and i'm gonna hire new scouts next season so don't worry about that remember next season we're gonna hire more scouts this is how our young academy is looking like it doesn't it does look really kind some of the players look kind of bad i don't know it's right now okay so we have we just got this kai powell guy and uh we're going to go ahead and send him on a uh developmental plan for now we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm not gonna switch his position i mean we could and i feel like if we do he might go up by one or two because like uh i don't know i feel like he could i feel like he could we're gonna do that i mean most of these players might be even getting might even get sell, sold like this t look at this tony tony baker uh we might send him on a loan okay he does he does look like a guy we could send on a loan cristobal soria this guy is 48 yeah this guy might need a position change i mean we could go ahead and do that and i'm gonna go ahead and do that we could we, we should well, right, we'll make him a cam uh We'll make him a cam, right? We'll see how he does, and then we'll make him a left mid and see how he does. Now we have this Victor Esposito guy, and Victor, we could switch his position. We could go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We should do that. I mean, we could go with the center. Mm, mm, actually, let's go with the center for it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Victor Esposito. And uh, that does look like we got that. But the next guy, the guy who I feel like might be coming up soon is Tony Baker. He doesn't look terrible. He actually does look a little bit of a decent player. I do might, I might have to go ahead and have him as a signing uh, later on, but I'm going to wait till he's unhappy. So yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And we're going to quick sim this game against Girona. We quick sim it and we end up with the result of a... One two loss. Let's get to the next game. All right, guys. Huesca is taking on Real Zaragoza up next. That's quick swimming this one right here as well. We end up with the one two one red win. Vada got the red card. Okay, let's get to the next game. All right, and we have Burgos up next. Uh, auto replace. So let me go ahead and make some like s like the switch arounds. You know, uh, I do want to start a couple players. Like, let's go ahead and get Doyle in here. We're gonna go again and get Gonzalez. Uh, going to go ahead and keep that uh, Navarez. Of course, we're keeping Navarez at the position. Like, come on. 
I'll make him a left winger, matter of fact, so he can get that plus three. And I think that'll be good. I think that's good. We're going to go ahead and quick sim this. We end up with the win, I think. I hope. Yep. We win the game. Let's go ahead and get to the next game. And that is going to go ahead and end today's episode of the Real Zero Goza Career Mode, guys. Um, also, a couple things I'd like to mention next episode, which might be tomorrow. We're going to do I we're going to face Ibar and face Real Social that be so we could celebrate the title. Because look at this. We already won the league, most likely. Uh, has anything else happened there at this? Okay. Young Vacab. I think this episode, we really worked about on our young players and which i like about it now you guys could see i'm just like switching positions because like switching positions helps their overall goes up and yeah so the one player i'm actually more excited for is alex puge puge i don't know how to say it this guy he's a 61 rated okay but he's still able to grow with the i don't know he just seems the best player we've got in here. Uh, I mean, Ibanez is good, but we also, also, let's go ahead and talk about our other player who was, uh, who was in the Sanf Academy as well. Uh, Marcano, Marcano actually, where he's going to go ahead and get to a loan to the Ajon at the end of the season. So that's going to be a big W. He's going to send, we're going to send him on a loan to a club in France. And the, and that, and you know, usually those French clubs, uh, do, you know, do have like, they do grow. Um, looking through these players, and it looks like Luis Carbonel looks like he's growing. But the thing is, I feel like when he comes back, we might send him to another loan or we might end up selling him because, like, I don't want to. I don't think I want to use Luis Carbonell, even though he seems good. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't. But next episode, we're going to be facing Ibar and Real Sociedad B. I know this episode, we barely had any games. We had more talking into this episode either ways. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be a part of your nation. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.